It's been several years since Duck Dynasty left TV screens for good, but there's no way the Robertson family has been forgotten yet. Besides having quite a huge fortune to back up their extravagant lifestyle and working in a business unusual enough to steal people's attention, there was something so out of the mold about the Robertson family that the audience couldn't help but become completely enthralled by their annex. Nonetheless, despite having one of the most popular TV shows in the U.S. and achieving international fame, there are still many people who didn't get to enjoy the Duck Dynasty hype when it happened and who have many questions about it. So, who are the Robertsons? Who are the most notorious family members? And what have they been doing since the show's end in 2017? Keep with us to know it all. We can't talk about the Robertsons without mentioning Phil, the well-known family patriarch, who besides being quite a particular character, is also very scandal-prone. Although being the founder of Duck Commander Company might lead you to think he's some sort of stereotypical businessman, the truth is that Phil is too out of the mold to fit that description. Native of a small Louisiana town, Phil's childhood was rough to say the least. His family's financial difficulties pushed him into a life of hunting, fishing, and harvesting vegetables at an early age just in order to survive. It was an athletic scholarship that gained him a place at Louisiana Tech where he was widely known as a football prodigy, but who was still allegedly more interested in hunting than other sports. Several years later, Phil's full-time school teacher career didn't deter him from looking out to make hunting easier. That's how he came up with the Duck Commander in the early 1970s, obtaining a patent for it right away, and finally establishing the Duck Commander Company without realizing it would soon become a million dollar business. Nowadays, the Robertson patriarch is not that different from the thriving man he was in his youth, though his controversial opinions on religion, race, and politics leave his followers with mixed feelings. Also known as Miss K, the family's matriarch is always there to push some sense of down-to-earth into everyone. Married when she was only 16 years old and welcoming motherhood at such an early age says a lot about Kay's experience and insights about her family. Even though she and Phil separated in the late 60s due to his alcoholic tendencies and infidelities, the couple eventually found their way back together after both were converted to Christianity. It wasn't only their marriage that was meant to change back then, though. The establishment of Duck Commander Company and its subsequent growth into a successful business took the family quite some time, but it was worth it. To prove that, Kay's energetic, warm, and positive attitude says a lot about the family's dynamic and lifestyle. Kay is one of the Robertsons who appeared most often in Duck Dynasty, helping her to push her career as a cuisine writer with books such as Miss Kay's Duck Commander Kitchen and A Robertson Family Christmas. Just like his father, Phil, hunting and fishing was a vital part of Willie and his siblings while growing up. Nonetheless, Willie's uncanny talent at business also became evident to his parents when he was only 10 years old. They called us from school. He'd set up a concession stand selling candies, and he absolutely shut down the school's whole snack shop, his mother Kay recalled in an interview with ABC, adding how she and Phil immediately thought he was going to become the family's business CEO. Several years into their future, Willie graduated from Northeast Louisiana University with a business degree, which was key to the success of Duck Commander Company in the following years, without letting the business grow out of the family. About Corey, her love story with Willie is one to remember. They met when 10 years old while attending a Christian event and never forgot each other, marrying less than 10 years into the future, just right before attending university. Corey's role in the family business is that of a strict office manager while also supporting her CEO husband. Although Corey is mostly focused on the business, Willie is also known for getting involved with politics and causing uproar with some of his most scandalous opinions. Knowing that Corey and Willie come from big families, it's not a wonder they wanted one like that themselves. Any good fan of Duck Dynasty has come to know the couple's six children well, John Luke, Sadie, Bella, Rebecca, Willie Jr., and Rowdy. Of all of them, Sadie is arguably the most famous. As an actress, she appeared in Christian-themed movies such as Past the Past and God's Not Dead 2. Added to her acclaim participation in the 19th season of Dancing with the Stars in 2014. Besides singing on their family's Christian-themed album, Duck the Halls, in 2015, Sadie became a published author with her original book, Live Original, starting a written saga to be released in the following years along with tours throughout the U.S. Unlike Sadie, her siblings' lives are less media-focused. 
For his part, John Luke is the director of a Christian summer organization, Camp Chi Yo Ka, in addition to owning the business Railway Coffee. His sibling, Rebecca, is not only the eldest of Corey and Willie's children, but also the first one they adopted, followed by Willie Jr. and Rowdy. The latter is only a couple of days younger than his sister, Bella, who has gained quite huge popularity on her Instagram account. One of the most impressive aspects of Duck Dynasty is how some of its cast have become individually famous without much of a problem. Nonetheless, Size case isn't really that surprising, considering that you only need to watch the guy for five minutes to understand why the audience loves him so much. As Phil's younger brother, Sai is unsurprisingly the clan's funny guy. Growing up poor and having to learn his way, hunting and obtaining his food through nature, Sai did well in following his older brother's steps and became a football sensation himself. But unlike Phil, Sai dropped out of Louisiana Tech University before finishing his major. He was then drafted to go to the Vietnam War, eventually achieving the rank of Sergeant First Class, with which he retired from the Army in 1993. Sai's lifelong experience in hunting made him the right fit to join his brother's Duck Commander Company as a reed tester. Despite his lighthearted attitude, Sai's also loyal to his family's Christian faith and has been married for five decades to Christine, who unfortunately doesn't appear in Duck Dynasty. The couple welcomed two children together and are now grandparents to eight kids. Besides his family series, Sai has also appeared in several other reality and talk shows, including starring in Going Cyril, acting in a couple of Christian-themed movies, and even releasing his own music single, Me and My Smokin' Hot Honey. Although Alan and Lisa were never main cast members of Duck Dynasty, by the time the show was canceled, they were more than known by the audience. As it happens, Alan is actually Phil and Kay's eldest child, and apparently played a big role in the growth of his parents' company in the early 1970s. However, his choice to follow the path of ministry took him away from the family's business altogether. After serving as a church pastor for 22 years, he and his wife Lisa made their way back to their roots in Louisiana in 2013. Taking back a job in the family's company and becoming regulars in Duck Dynasty wasn't surprising at all, as Alan and Lisa were meant to appear in the show since the start, but couldn't do it due to the very tough filming schedules. We kind of kept our distance from filming, but we were obviously supporting everyone, he told Ryzen Magazine. Though the show is no longer on air, Alan and Lisa continue making public appearances by offering couple counseling together, in addition to Alan rejoining the White's Ferry Road Church as an elder preacher. Regarding their children, their two daughters, Katie and Elizabeth, never appeared in Duck Dynasty and keep a low public profile. As Chief Operations Officer of Duck Commander Company, you would think that the third younger Robertson son is greatly intuitive in the business sense. However, Jace has admitted that despite doing well in the family's company, he wasn't very positive about the success of Duck Dynasty in the beginning, in addition to having a negative perception of the reality TV genre. We've got some crazy characters in our family, but I didn't think people would want to see that he told Fox News in 2013. Just like the rest of his family, Jace wouldn't be as invested in Duck Commander Company if it wasn't for his hunting background. Actually, it was his knowledge in the field that led him to invent the Triple Threat, an improved version of the business's common duck call. Nonetheless, Jace is known more for wanting to be in the hunting action than in the office. Unlike her husband, Jace, Missy's focus goes beyond creating duck calls. Although she's supportive of her husband's family's business, she's a volunteering music teacher and is involved with religious missions, and has even written her own series of Christian books for kids. Jason and Missy are parents to three children, named Reed, Cole, and Mia. True to the family's tradition, both Reed and Cole are avid football players in college. But while Reed chose to keep his public life low-key, Cole is on his way to pursue a career as a country music artist. In 2016, Reed married his longtime girlfriend, Brighton, with whom he welcomed a daughter, Maris Carraway, in late 2021. For his part, there's not a lot to say about Cole's romantic life, but his career as an insurance entrepreneur seems to be going well. Regarding Mia, her situation is rather different from her brother's. Born with a bilateral cleft lip and palate, Mia has endured several corrective surgeries, some of which were covered while Duck Dynasty aired. Aware of the struggles faced by kids with the same diagnosis as their daughters, Jace and Missy established 
the MIA Move Fund to help people of all backgrounds and financial situations to obtain the means to treat this condition medically, as well as to offer emotional guidance throughout this exhausting process. For her part, Mia nowadays lives a normal life and is an avid singer and pianist. It's not hard to notice that there's an evident age gap between Jep and his older brothers. As the youngest Robertson son, Jep is definitely a lighthearted man with a more modern mindset compared to the rest of his siblings, but without leaving his faith. Unlike his family, Jep isn't that much into hunting, preferring to spend his time outdoors with the rest of the Robertson, but filming their duck catching escapade. Jep's interests lay in technology and food, founding the Jep's Southern Roots Truck Food, in addition to his and his wife Jessica's joint cuisine YouTube channel. As one of the youngest faces of the Robertson family, it's not surprising that A&E gave them their highly successful show, Jep and Jessica, Growing the Dynasty, which aired for two seasons starting from 2016. Nonetheless, don't let their young and fresh appearance fool you, as the couple has been married for almost two decades and have welcomed five children together, named Lillian May, Merritt Decatur, Priscilla June, River Alexander, and Gus, who they adopted in 2015. Nowadays, the family lives away from their native Louisiana, where their business is based. Given how wildly successful Duck Dynasty was, it's still surprising for many people to know that the show was canceled after 11 seasons and five years on air. While many people speculate Duck Dynasty's downfall from TV was caused by Phil Robertson's scandals and controversial opinions added to his and Willie's involvement with politics, it's also worth considering that there were other important reasons why the show ended. The show's highest rating point happened during the fourth season when it was tuned into by 11.77 million people during its premiere. From there, the numbers went downhill, reaching its lowest audience records in the 11th season's premiere with 1.29 million viewers. Given this data and the fact that the family had become quite a handful when it came to their public image, it's safe to guess what was behind the end of Duck Dynasty. Thank you for spending some time with us. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpick these videos, which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question in the comments below. Thank you for being with us and we'll see you back tomorrow.